Hello bearded bee people. Welcome back to Bean KBs. Today I'm pulling a few honey frames to free up some equipment. Um, we don't necessarily have the amount of honey in this yard that would normally warrant um, an extraction or, or a harvest. Um, but like I said, we are in need of equipment for honey boxes and there's no better honey box than a freshly extracted box of honey frames. So I'm pulling all the uh, frames that are ready to be extracted out that I can. I think we have four deep boxes now and I'm hoping to make that five uh, here. It looks like I should be able to make it eight but um, I guarantee it the majority of those frames are not capped and ready. So uh, when you're thinking about whether you're going to extract or not, uh, you know, you should do everything that you can in order to make sure that that honey is uh, prepared and ready. Um, because if you pull it out too early and it's too liquidous, it's got too high of a moisture content, uh, it will ferment in the bottle and that's no good. So uh, if they're in the process of extract or uh, of capping those frames, you can do the old, if you can't shake it, take it uh, adage. Um, but if it's not capped at all, uh, I wouldn't even try that because, uh, you know, the first cue and the best cue for uh, honey being ready is that the bees declare it ready and decide to cap it. So I'm going to go through these boxes and see what I can find, set them aside, and uh, hopefully take you along for some of the extraction process later on. Okay, first things first, I'm going to pick this black hole of a box up and not throw my back out doing it. That is the first goal. Holy shoot. Ah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to go through this uh, top box first. Now I'm going to get everything off that looks like it might contain extractable frames and then close the box up with a hive up. Alright, this one's lighter. Okay, so, and then there's only one frame in the bottom one that is being worked on. Just take my word for that. Um, so I'm going to quickly rifle through this. I don't expect to find too much. Open cells with nectar. Nothing that I need. Open. Open, 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 open. That one's starting to get capped. Okay, so all these ones uh, are just kind of starting to get capped. I'll show you what's going on. You can see it kind of looks like they're I don't know what you can see to be honest, but they're just capping the tops of them. Uh, it looks like they're capped from up top, but they're really not. You can see how that looks deceiving. It looks like a full honey frame, but it ain't. Like that side doesn't even have anything in it. This side. is light but it's got nectar in those cells I don't know if you can see another light but with nectar frame it's heavier starting to cap the top like I said this is earlier than I would normally think of extracting but due to that equipment shortage it's just where we're at. Okay so here's a frame <laughs> BAM 
It's got to be 12 pounds. Ugh. I'm going to lean this up back over here in the shade. So that it doesn't melt away. And there's another frame capped on both sides. Bees are starting to get a little pissy. What they don't know is I sell this honey to buy more stuff for them. More hive bodies, more frames, more everything. Oh, another heavy one. Come on, how about the cats? Okay, so here's one where we get to implement the if you cannot shake it, take it method. Um, I'm going to do it over, uh, shake all the bees off, or most of them anyway, and then I'm going to do it over a dry surface, dry flat surface like the top here. Shake it like crazy, look at it, I don't see any drops, so I'm going to take it. Um, as you can see, they, you know, were quite of the way through the job of uh, capping on both sides so that's the reason that I even thought of trying that strategy if it was not capped at all or just barely on the top I wouldn't have even thought of that because it's a good way to ruin a, a good honey season is is let all your honey ferment have customers calling you back saying why does it smell like booze oh, I don't have anywhere else to lean this frame I'm not even going to do the can't shake it, take it thing because this one has less open cells uh, on it than the other one did. I had them all spread out all over the yard trying to find places to lean these frames. Alright, there's another one. So that's one, two, three, four, five frames that I'm going to take. And now I have to find frames to fill that box back out or get into that. Yeah, I'm going to get into that lowest super and put those in there. But first, I'm going to bring you over to my staging area. Just got stung on the ankle. Why the hell would a bee sting me on the ankle? Ouch. Okay, so this is my staging area. The box has some honey frames in it. And it is above a cover and underneath the cover. Okay. So I just good, gave these frames a good shake at the entrance. If you've got, you know, stubborn bees you can pop it on the ground once, or just blow them up. You're never going to get all of them. Because as you blow to try to get that last one, other ones land on. Alright, so pop the top off, put the frame in, hurry up with the other one. Go get some more.
All right, so that is uh, the process. Normally it would be uh, on a more systematic basis. I would wait for the whole box to get uh, ready for extraction and that's what I'm doing with the out yards. Um, but I have, like I said, some need for uh, some hives need honey boxes. And I figured I could do this. I think that makes five deeps uh, full of honey, which should be hopefully, you know, a little over 400 pounds. Um, going forward in the year, there will be a lot more. But, okay, so hopefully I will uh, kind of restart this video a little bit later on when we have Liv over. Um, I think she has some honey to extract as well. And so we'll uh, crank the, uh, the honey out. So, see you then.